We in the European Union have a unique model, a social market economy. Which allows economies to grow while reducing poverty and inequalities. As the COVID-19 pandemic lockdown threatened to shut down companies, we developed an instrument to protect jobs called SURE. It kept 2.5 million companies open and 31.5 million Europeans employed. Furthermore, to help the economies of all our European Union countries recover, we set up a bold new plan, Next Generation EU. With this plan, we are investing more than 800 billion euro and helping create good jobs. The competitiveness of our social market economy is built on the skills and the well-being of our workers. This has been at the core of our action. We established the Pact for Skills to give workers the training they need to match the business's needs. And we backed it up with 65 billion euros worth of investments. This is vital to our people and our companies, as two-thirds of small and medium-sized companies in Europe say that they cannot find the talent they need. Our competitiveness is also built on working conditions that allow workers to thrive and to focus on the job. This is why we have introduced an EU framework promoting collective bargaining and improving the adequacy of minimum wages. Workers should earn wages that allow a decent living, wherever they work. Our economies and societies are constantly evolving and new ways of working are emerging. But those also come with challenges. For instance, in terms of access to labor rights and social protection. This is why we have introduced rules to improve the working conditions in platform work. In 2021, over 500 digital platforms were active in the EU, offering work to over 28 million people. Furthermore, we introduced a child guarantee for families in need so that they can afford childcare and mothers and fathers can go to work. Because Europe needs all of its talent. We set rules on pay transparency. Equal work deserves equal pay. No matter whether you are a woman or a man. We brought more women in Europe's corporate boardrooms by setting targets that 40% of non-executive directors have to be women. This is not just good for women, it is also good for our economy. Companies that are more diverse are also more successful. Was this interesting for you? Dive deeper into Keeping Our Promise to Europe series and find answers that matter to you. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to see new episodes.